Well, for the UPU as a body, I would say that's what worry boys call carry waka. <laughs> Anyhow, waka. UPU as a body should not have done that. The governor, sorry, the former governor is not under any stress. He's not under any stress. See, the president general of UPU as a gam, is a lawyer, can go as a person. Ah, yes, yeah, so what is this I'm hearing? He ought to have been at Port Harcourt to offer his legal services ex gratis, as free of charge. As an individual, as a friend of the governor. He didn't do that. Many people went there. Many people went there to Port Harcourt. He knew, as an individual, that there's what we call a coup in Urubu. A coup means that is oppression, innocence. Eh? To me, I take the governor, my former governor going there as a coup. But the Urubu man say a coup. When you are involved in a coup, you don't come out without uh, spending something. Even if, you are, even if you are arrested as an innocent person, you must still drop something. You must still spend something. After all, he, 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 he will go there with his aides. Right, has to pay their flight ticket or has to pay their transport. There has to be accommodation, right? There has to be where whatever, whatever, right? So you can go there as a friend, sir. I dropped so much money, I dropped like five billion naira. I dropped this. And, so I need, and people would have done that by now. I know people did that to show solidarity, but not carrying the Mukuromowo UPU on such a trip. The man was not impressed by that, certainly will not be impressed. Because Governor Kowan knows the sentiments of the Rubo people when it concerns the UPU. And not at a period where, where the, the, the executive of the UPU was being accused of being selected and not elected. This is not the best time for UPU to make such a trip. In fact, the trip gave branches, branches to, to, to the challenges the, 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 the former governor is facing, of course. I agree with you completely. The challenges may not be unconnected with political maneuverings and all of that, right? But going UPU executive, it's like Urubu Nation went to pay solidarity. What are you paying solidarity for? Without coming out to address people as individuals, as, individu as an individual. I we as an individual, say no 1.3 trillion naira is missing. But I won't come and do it as uh, a leader in the world. They were carrying well people. We are saying no 1.3 trillion naira is missing. What do they know about 1.3 trillion? Were they in government? Have they read the budget? Has every Rubo person read the budget to have given you a mandate? Has every Rubo person read the audit report to have given you a mandate to say, oh, Rani Ku, this and that and that? No, I know it's a coup because I'm averse with what happened and what happens in government. You see, I'm, co I'm conversant, I'm co familiar with what happens. I don't have a version to it, but I'm, I'm familiar with what happens. So I could say something, but I can't say I'm saying it for a group I belong to, a group that elected me. No, you don't, you don't, you don't just do that. The Asu president cannot just wake up and say, Asu is paying solidarity visit to. You never hear it. But the president of Asu, as an individual, can pay a visit to his friend. You see, the people, people who don't want to spend their own personal money for anything, we always look for group money to spend and shine with it. And I won't be surprised, uh, in spite of the challenges the former governor is facing, he could have given them a siagware. When would people visit you, particularly an umbrella body of the UPU? There will be a siagware. I'm, I'm saying it here. If the former governor gave a siagware to the UPU executive, they should go and return it. Because that's very disgraceful. The man needs every kind of help he can get right now. Right? It should be the other way around. We should be the ones doing the Siagwari for him. He should be doing the Siagwari for the former governor, not he doing the Siagwari. So if, if UPUS could got the Siagwari, you know what Siagwari means. Uh, if they got the Siagwari from my, my boss, the former governor, they should return the money and apologize to the Yoruba people. Things are not done like that. And I know my man is a very intelligent person. He, he reads emptiness when he sees emptiness. That these people are just empty. They showed that they were empty by that very action. They showed they were empty. And when you look at the pictures they took, there wasn't no backslapping. There wasn't it. There wasn't that excitement. They say when you visit somebody, and the person will say, "Oh, this man has come again." I am making you people to become that. They've come again. They've come again. It's very disgraceful. As for a traditional rulers going there, ordinarily, uh, with due respect, I think. 
mostly they are idle. They have nothing doing. So these are opportunities for them to to just go around and uh, say, okay, governor, we support you with this. And the statement he even made, he helped us. So he was there. he helped us when he was governor. He helped us when he was governor. traditional rulers. Come on, sit, sit in your domains, sit in your domains and do something. And when you look at traditional rulers who make such trips, it's not just this time around. They always make such trips. There are those whose suzerainty depends on the presentation of staff of office. A traditional ruler is a traditional ruler. Staff of office or no staff of office. Certificate or no certificate. Right? And those ones who do that, uh, they depend on, on, uh, on government patronage to be able to reign. To be able to reign. There are those who will not go, and I didn't see them there. I didn't see them there. Those of you who you mean the Oba of Bini will really stand up one day. Say, I'm leading traditional rulers in a new state. Uh, my governor, Basaki. Basaki was arrested by EFCC. He has defended himself very well. Let's go and pay solidarity to him. How do you think the world looks at you? I believe there's no 1.3 trillion naira missing. I believe so, very strongly. Right? It's not missing. So people, people are already forgetting about it. They just go pretending to cry. Hey, governor, hey, this thing will happen to you so. You know, it, it worsens. It worsens the way the man feels. Oh, what do people even? What do these people even think that there's something there? There's nothing there. I read his defense, and I was very proud of it. I was very, very proud of the defense of the governor. But these characters, these characters, these UPU people, uh, the traditional rulers, no, they should. Somebody should really tell them to their face that they are not doing well. I won't be surprised. UP would have created competition now. Uh, Udokwa National Union may follow next. Uh, Ika National Congress may follow the John National. Then our brother, our brother, our very brothers, uh, the Isoko Development Union will follow. And uh, then be, because there's competition, the entourage will be very large, large umbrellas and drums. They will start beating drums. And then people will ask, who are those people there? You see, uh, they went to visit the governor to solidarize with, to solidarize with him over 1.3 trillion naira accusation. You are the one blowing it open. You are the one blowing it open. Uh, some, some, a month, of, month and a month ago, I was, uh, there was a petition against me that I was involved in acts of terrorism, go running and, uh, and uh, drug pushing, right? And my friends who heard, they said, ah, but what do we do? Should we come to the police station? I was in the police station on the 30th of uh, September. I know, please don't come. Don't make noise about it, I beg you. Before people start taking me as a terrorist. So we already say, hey, the man must be a terrorist. Uh, the way they behave, not terrorist. Because of the noise made about it. Those visits, those visits did not help my boss. They are not helpful in any way. They should stop it. They should stop such behavior. And uh, I think yeah, the ESCO will be called to order. The UP ESCO will be called to order. But who knows? Maybe all the national unions we we start going to pay solidarity visit. And then our enemies will start asking questions. Solidarity visit for what now? EFCC did what it did, suspected. There was a petition. Please, uh, as well as there's a petition against you. Can we have you on this and that and that? The first day they didn't finish. It's not like, not like a really detention as such. First day they didn't finish. Rather than go and come back, you continue the following, maybe two, three days, and it was over. But you now say, hey, Governor Sofa, oh, ah, I suffer for Port Harcourt. Oh, who told you? Who told you you suffered in Port Harcourt? Eh? Always looking for where. There are some women in Delta State. They have clues for morning, special clues for morning. Uh, after, after one morning round, they will just go and I wash, iron them, and they have ears to the ground. Hey, who that again? Okay, now that uh, space person die here. Eh? Oh, yeah, they work. Nobody invited you to just go uh, morning specialist. Let us not do that. UPU disgraced the Robo Nation. UPU disgraced the Robo Nation. Traditional rulers, mm, I understand a little. Like I said, what else do they do? Even not all these uh, movements. Eh? They've not gone to, I've not seen them go to visit to Tuama's family. I've not heard of UPUS going to visit to Tuama's family. If they did, it was secret. 
right? Uh, nobody has heard about it. This same UPU executive has been there, and the president general of the Wu, the Wu Kingdom, has been illegally incarcerated by the Nigerian army. UPU has not made a statement about Professor Ato Ekpoku, Ekpoku Anko, who has been in illegal detention by a body not a power to detain him or not a power to detain them. Nothing, no statement has come from UPU. No statement has come from traditional rulers in Delta State that a part of Delta State was destroyed, like Cartage. Traditional rulers have not met to discuss that because they are scared to do so. UPU has not met to discuss how Okwama can be rebuilt. Okwama was, was, was destroyed by E-trained soldiers. Nothing UPU has done. He wake up, a man who is very safe, a man whose hands are clean, is the way I get to say, hey, they did this to our governor, they did this to our governor. If I were as a GAM, the president general of UPU, I would take that audit report. It becomes my Bible. But that when friends come to visit, say, look at look at what the governor said. You see that petition really? And that's what I've been doing with friends. That's what I'm doing here too. My petition is just begged as medicineness. I accept. I'm comfortable. I'm happy with this explanation and this audit report. UPU should do what is urgent for Rubo Nation right now going to rebuild Okwama, drawing, att drawing attention to Okwama that was destroyed by the military. UPU should ensure, UPU should ensure that Professor Ato Ekpipo, who has been in illegal detention by the Nigerian army, is released. Who knows if he's still alive? You're not there. You're not bothered. Whether a president general in Ruboland is alive. He just jump. You know, going to Abuja to confront the military about uh, the release of uh, the President General does not attract Kolanot, a uh, Kolanot wage, what we call a Siagware. So that one is not something that we attract them. But UPU and the traditional rulers in Delta State should concentrate on the problems we have in Delta State. And one of the, the biggest problems we have in Delta State right now is Okwama. Uh, and then the, followed by the arrest of the President General of the Wu. Okwama is part of the Wu. Uh, UP is a disgrace. The ESCO is a disgrace, I, I, I must tell you that. A disgrace in the sense that the man I know to be my governor is not somebody you just play around with. Hey, we come, we come follow you, cry. Was he crying? Was he crying? Did he do anything? Is there anything in that petition that would make you come and pay so that they put it in the press? If I were you just carry money, go give the man. Okay, you spent money or flight ticket, take this one. That's how, that's how a good friend behaves. Not this one that they are doing. And I'm warning other national bodies. Don't, don't, don't do this kind of thing. Don't do it at all. It's not allowed.